anywhere in this country affects everyone. So we have to stand here today in solidarity. And we want to hear one other person, and then maybe someone from Local 2 to wrap up. We're going to ask Frank Lara for the Party for Socialism and Liberation to say a few words. Brothers and sisters. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Hey. All right. Is everyone really should be pumped. What we did today again, 11 years after war and occupation, shows that we're trying to build together. This affects, war affects every sector of society. If you look around, you see different demands, different banners. There's a banner for the women's struggle. There's a banner against the war in Iran, against the war in Syria, against war in general, against the war on workers. And this is important because after years of struggle, we've seen that it's always the 1% in this country attacking the 99%, and that 99% comes from different communities and gets affected different ways. So we just want to wrap this up by saying this is where the strength is. It's in the streets, and it doesn't end here. We're in an election year, and I know sometimes everyone wants to think, why is it more happening? Why are more people doing it? That's because day after day you get bombarded with the only solution is to vote either the Democrat or the Republican. And it's every four years, it's a trap. Instead of saying people need to mobilize, people need to fight. And if you want to see just what that fight looks like, tomorrow, October 7th, are the historic elections in Venezuela. This is going to be what we expect Hugo Chavez's victory once again in leading the left in Latin America to rise up and separate itself from U.S. imperialism. The same way we want our Arab brothers and sisters, the Arab nations, to rise up and separate from U.S. imperialism. Latin America does show a way. So tomorrow we definitely want to invite you at 2, 2 to 4 p.m. at 24th and Mission to go out and support because all these things are connected and the only way you're gonna change it is the way people in Latin America have changed it. Building independent political organizations, fighting in the street, in their community, in their schools, and that's how we're gonna do it, brothers and sisters. So please, continue organizing. It doesn't end here. You should be proud, you should be proud that you stand here in the face of all this propaganda that tells you, vote, vote, vote. So brothers and sisters, the people united will never be defeated. The people united will never be defeated.